Hello, I'm Dr. Bob DiMaria, the drugless doctor with another Get to Know. Ladies, let's talk about energy. Yes, I'll tell you what. The number one reason that ladies come into our office is, Dr. Bob, I'm tired. I wake up tired, I'm tired all day, I go to bed tired, and I wake up, and the cycle never ends. Well, I have good news for you. You don't have to be tired anymore. So let's get down to some basics. When do you go to bed at night? Probably the simple, most important thing you could do is be in bed by 10 o'clock. I would suggest that you minimize TV and computer work two hours before you go to bed because your brain needs a time to purge and to process information. Let's say you have difficulty falling asleep at night. Very common today. Oftentimes I find that ladies have a hard time falling asleep because they have too much copper in their body. Let me ask you a couple questions. Do you have large facial pores? White spots on your nails? Those are body signals to me that you don't have enough zinc. See, when you're low in zinc, you're going to have high copper. Do you have freckles? Do you scar easy? Those are body signals to me. Too much copper. Dr. Bob, so what causes high copper and low zinc? You ready for this? Wheat and soy. And I'm so, I know so many of you are so proud because you eat whole wheat bread today, and I'm not telling you to stop your whole wheat bread. But I would have you consider trying to go gluten-free. I would encourage you maybe to use and minimize the amount of wheat and soy products. Wheat and soy deplete the body of zinc. Zinc is needed by your body to make insulin. Insulin is important for glucose. Glucose is your fuel. Two other topics I'd like to talk to you about is your thyroid gland. Your thyroid gland is the gas pedal to your body. The adrenal gland is the fuel pump. Did you wake up tired this morning? Cold hands, cold feet, thinning hair, constipation. Dr. Bob, you sound like you're talking about me. Depressed, cholesterol's high, won't go down. Those are body signals to me that your thyroid gland's not functioning at all cylinders. It's not functioning at 100%. Well, what should you do? My suggestion would be to talk to your health care provider, write this down, and have a T4, TOM4, T3, and TSH completed by a health care provider. Have him assess it. Have him take a look at it. And if your numbers are lower in the midline, so they're less than halfway, you may need to have supplementation. Commonly, we use iodine in our practice, a source of organic iodine. I personally take 12 milligrams of iodine every day. Do you swim? Do you have a hot tub? Do you take a shower every day? Oh, Dr. Bob, you're being silly. Well, I'm not really being silly, but you're being exposed to bromine, fluorine, and chlorine, which is antagonistic to iodine. If you don't have enough iodine, your thyroid's not going to function optimally. You're going to be tired. So you're going to want to have a skilled health care provider, someone who's experienced, help you navigate through that challenge. If you're on some type of thyroid medication already, you're going to really want to sit down with your health care provider and, and analyze it. You may even consider getting Dr. Bob's Drugless Guide to Balancing Female Hormones. That book will help you navigate through all your low energy. And finally, there's a gland in your body called the adrenal gland. I just mentioned it. The adrenal gland is your fuel pump. Remember, the thyroid is your gas pedal. The adrenal gland is the fuel pump. Does bright light bother your eyes? Do you get dizzy from a sit to a stand position? Do you crave sugar? Do you crave salt? Does your back go out easy? Do you have constant pain in your body? Do you suffer with fibromyalgia? Those are all body signals to me that your adrenal gland is not functioning optimally. 
your body's exhausted, your adrenal gland helps your body make cortisone, which balances the glucose that's inside of your body. So you want to make sure you get to bed in a proper time period. I think what's so important and what's so significant is minimize sugar consumption. Sugar is an anti-nutrient. Sugar takes minerals out of your body that are important for all body function. Oftentimes, when people crave sugar and salt, what they're really craving are minerals. Let me help you a bit. If you crave sugar, which is probably the biggest nemesis that's exhausting your body, except for the low thyroid gland, you may consider taking a supplement that we use in our practice called chromium. And by the way, if you've had your gallbladder removed, your gallbladder helps metabolize fat. And oftentimes you may have fat that is covering the glucose in your body, which acts as the fuel. And if you don't have access to the fuel in your system, you're going to be tired and sluggish all the time. So to have more energy, you have to create a strategy. Get in bed before 10 o'clock. Mild exercise. Learn to say no. You need to rest. Make sure you shut that TV off and the computer so your brain has a chance to process itself. Be a great idea to have a thyroid profile done. And one last thought. Have your blood pressure checked. If your blood pressure drops from a sit to a stand position, that's a body signal to me that your adrenal gland might not be functioning optimally and the adrenal gland is so significant. Get to bed early, drink your water, don't overdo it because when you overdo it, you're just going to be exhausted. I'm Dr. Bob DiMaria, the drugless doctor.